Hello everybody, it's Christy. I wanted to do a really quick DIY today. Um, this one is Birch Lane inspired. It's not going to be an exact dupe because um, the picture of the Bir on the Birch Lane website has the white hydrangeas and I'm wanting to use these uh, purple and dark grayish blue and green ones because this is going to be more fall decor. Um, I felt the white ones were more of a spring or summer decor. So this is just going to be an inspired DIY. Um, everything you see in front of you is from the Dollar Tree except for my E6000. Uh, you can use your glue gun if you want, but I just went ahead and got my E6000 out. As you can see, it's had better days. I got the twine. I'm going to be using the beige color. I bought my mason jar. And of course, I got my gorgeous hydrangeas at the Dollar Tree. And I'll be using scissors uh, to cut the twine and stuff. These are from Dollar Tree as well. But let's get started. I wanted to show you the hydrangeas and how pretty they are. They are, they're probably some of the prettiest hydrangeas I had seen at Dollar Tree. Um, I picked up four, but for today, I'm only going to probably be using three. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five stems on these, so they're really full. Um, I went ahead and took the tag off. What I'm going to want to do is cut these down since I'm using this mason jar. I've already saw what they look like in there, so I'm going to cut this down to the very last notch. Um, on the hydrangeas. Um, these bend really easy, so if you just bend it back and forth several times, they'll come right off. Um, if you have clippers, you can go ahead and clip those off. Um, so they're going to be looking like this. They're going to be pretty short. And you're going to also want to take the leaves that are on the hydrangeas and push those all the way up to the flower. This is going to make it fuller as well. So after we get done trimming the hydrangeas and push, pushing up the leaves, I'm just going to take the lid off of my mason jar because I have a feeling it's just going to be easier to hold that way. Um, the mason jars at Dollar Tree do have two seams on the sides. So I guess you will it would probably be best if we start wrapping our twine there. Um, that way, if there's an end in the beginning, we can put it um, at the seams and then the front would have no seams. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a small dab of my E6000 um, onto my jar and then I'll start wrapping it around um, So as I spread the E6000, what you do is you just uh, take it up your jar. You just keep going around. I only put it on the bottom half, and then I'll put it as I get closer. You're only going to go um, to about a third of the jar. And once you get it started, it's easy. Um, you just, I'm just putting it on there, putting the twine around and then pushing it down into place so that it stays tight. Today's mowing day. Our mowers have already come and it seems like our neighbors are getting ready to start mowing too, guys. I am sorry if this gets loud. I will um, do my best to make this quick so that we get done before all the noise starts. The thing about the twine is every once in a while you'll come up with a place um, 
that'll be I've had them where they've had a red dye in them and this one has uh, more of a teal dye I guess you know that's not a bad thing on this one because it matches um, it will be I can always put that in the back if I want as well let's try this This is the non-glamorous part. And yet an easier way of doing it is just turning your jar and then pushing it down and pulling top. Just whatever gets it done, guys. how loud that may be on you guys. I hope it's not too bad. that's about as far as I'm gonna go I'll just put a little bit of glue here and probably go around a couple more times okay the one on the Birch Lane website the hydrangeas were put together really big and fluffy the problem with ours is um, they have a ton of stems and the one on Birch Lane was just put what looks like on one stem you could put those in there like that um, it's going to be really nice and large and full and um, pretty. The problem I see is all the stems. So what I'm going to try to do is bunch them all up and maybe tie a little piece of twine around it. So maybe to keep them together as in one. So. Okay, as you can see, what I did was I just tied uh, some twine around here, uh, wrapped it around twice, and double knotted it. It's going to keep those together better, and what I may do is I will either... I may just tie a small piece of twine around the bottom. I could E6000 those together like that. Um... I don't know, but I may want to use them again for something else. So I hate to do that. What would look really cute is if I wrapped a twine all the way down. Um, gosh, I'm not sure what to do now. I'm stuck. Let's try. I sort of couldn't help myself. I wanted to just wrap it just to see what it looked like. Um, because it sort of reminds me that way of maybe like a wedding bouquet. Um, and then I guess I could have wrapped it in the green I had, but this looks more rustic. So I'm just going to, I tied it off at the top and then I'm just continuing to circle around. And I know you don't want to see me do this for the next two minutes. So let's pause you guys. When I got to the bottom, instead of gluing or anything, I just tied it off. I've wrapped it around and then I'll go in between these. This is so tight at this point that it's, well, are you gonna focus, there you go, that it's gonna stay. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Not wanting to focus, come on. Let's see, let's fluff up our hydrangeas first. I just want to pull them apart a little bit. Um, now 
that they're in this little bouquet and make them fluffier if that's possible because they're quite fluffy already. Okay, I've left it out and put it in. You can, like I said, do without that if you want. Um, some people may not like the twine. I'm not sure yet. I will probably play around with it and decide. Let me show you what it looks like with the decor. And there it is finished with my decor. Um, this uh, piece in my dining room is a work in progress. As I get more items, then I will fill that in. Um, everything here is Dollar Tree and uh, um, or DIYs that I've done. But I thought this looked really cute up there. I do feel like I need to put more up on this shelf in the dining room, but like I said, I'm gonna wait and see what else I can find. I'll show you the rest. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, I, th I think the little hydrangea turned out really cute and I'm loving these colors. So have a great day, everybody. Thanks so much. And remember, subscribe.